What's going on guys? Today we've been challenged to build a native iOS and Android app with zero coding in less than 10 minutes. I know it sounds crazy, but we're gonna do it. Now you might have done a couple of my builds or you might simply have a freelancing client who has an existing website that wants it turned into an app. Whatever the case, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to take an existing hosted website and turn it into a live native app. This even works for WooCommerce and WordPress websites. And thanks to our friends over at my site, it's a lot easier than you might think. Psst, stay until the end for our first ever surprise giveaway. So before we jump in, here's a few reasons why you might want an app alongside your existing website. You can go ahead and expand your audience into the ginormous iOS app store and Android play store. You can engage with your users with push notifications. If you want to monetize your platform, you can do so using Google AdMob. And best of all, it just provides a faster and more seamless user experience for your users. So for today's challenge, I'm going to be transforming the Papa React website, including my zero to full stack hero course into a native iOS and Android app. Yes, all in less than 10 minutes with zero code. Smash the thumbs up button. Let's get it. So first thing you want to go ahead and do is head over to appmysite.com hit the login button, but you'll land on this screen. So we're gonna firstly click on create new app. Now over here, you should be able to see add new app. So what we're gonna do is you need to add in the URL of the website that you're essentially gonna be digitizing into a native app experience. So in our case, it's www.papareact.com. Now in this case, after this, the next option is CMS platform. In our case, we're using Kajabi to power our website. So we're actually gonna go ahead and click on other. Now give your app a final name. So in this case, we're gonna call it the Papa Fam app and then i'm going to go ahead and hit build app so immediately we're thrown into the customization here you can see we've got the app icon which will get shown on the home screen now you've got two ways of demonstrating where it's going to be shown you've got ios and android so really really easy user interface to go ahead and get used to i'd probably choose an image icon for my overall sort of thumbnail so in this case i'm going to go ahead and upload an app icon right now okay so we've just uploaded our icon right here so i'm going to go ahead and hit crop and save so you're literally getting to the official app points right here already all right, so let's go ahead and hit on next. So the next area of customizing your app is called the launch screen. We've actually got the Papa Fam Orange. So I'm going to go ahead and use the hex for the Papa Fam Orange. And instead of saying Papa Fam app, I'm going to say hi, Papa Fam. Pretty happy with that. Hit next. Then you want to go ahead and set your color scheme. So we're sticking with this nice orange Papa Fam theme going on right now. So we're going to go ahead and make sure that we follow that through. Just mess around with it. See what looks good for you. So after you've done this, you want to go ahead and hit next. If you had set up your app using the WordPress CMS, uh, option in the beginning, you'll get a bunch of additional home screen options here. What we essentially are going to be doing is something a little bit different. What we're doing is we're going to be showing certain screens based on the URL. And what we're going to be doing is changing that based on what the user presses at the bottom of their phone. Now, before we do this, guys, it's worth mentioning that App My Site actually sets us up on the free plan. So right now you can see we're actually set up on a free plan. App My Site follow a try now, pay later strategy. Why this is really cool is because you can go ahead, build out your site for free and only upgrade it as you need to. So if I go ahead and hit change plan here, I only need to upgrade. Let's imagine if I only wanted to push to that Android Play Store, I could actually go ahead with the starter yearly pack. Right. If I want to do Android and iOS, I could do the pro yearly pack and then premium gives me a bunch of additional features like analytics, in-app chat and that kind of stuff. Hopping back over to the customization, I want you to go ahead and hit on the settings. Main juicy stuff happens in the bottom bar. Here is where you have your navigation for the phone. So what we're going to do is customize this. First thing I want to do is change the styling. That's already looking immediately nicer. So that actually looks pretty good. Then I'm going to go ahead and start customizing each section. So the first section I have is is actually going to be the option to join a zero to full stack hero. If you didn't know, that's our flagship course. The link is in the description. That's where we teach you how to become a developer from absolutely zero skills to landing your first job and beyond. First thing I want to do is hit settings. I'm going to go ahead and customize our first button. And as you can see, we start getting this awesome icon being produced. The second one is the more important option. Here you've got the item type. So in this case, we're actually going to be using something called a web view. We want to go to popperreact.com forward slash course when the user actually hits this button. So what will happen is when you tap this button, you're actually going to be seeing the home screen load up on the phone in a native fashion. Now we also have this really nice ability to hide the app header, the website header, and even the website footer to give it a seamless native experience. So the second option on the screen is going to be for the course, change it over to the course 
course page and this will be once you've purchased the course and once you've logged in we're going to go ahead and actually have this special url so this is actually a login protected route so if you tried to access this so it would take me to my login screen this is how my website behaves by default and we're going to ca carry on with the next option so the next one is going to be a blog so this one actually links to our papa fam blog so this is actually a medium article if you didn't know we actually have an awesome medium article check it out medium.com forward slash sunny dash sanger following the same pattern we're going to do the same thing for our wins which is actually all of the students which have had successful experiences by joining the papa fam so that's going to be an important part of our papa fam app the final section is a little bit different so in this case we're not going to be using a web view we're actually going to be using a chat view right so in this case you can see i don't have the chat option enabled this is because it's part of the premium plan so what i would recommend doing is, is head down to your chat and then what you want to do is you'll see a bunch of options on the screen now on the Papa react website we use something called talk.2 talk this one and you should get a url now i'm not going to run through how to get this exact url but if you set up a talk account which is completely free you can actually get the customer chat experience that we have on the Papa fam website head over to your dashboard head over to change plan and what you want to do is upgrade to one of their more premium plans so at this point you want to go into your settings of your app hit the bottom bar and we want to go into the app section over here and the item type here is now you can see we've got the fourth option which is chat this is because we're now on the premium monthly plan now one of the biggest reasons why you might want to go over to a native app is simply push notifications so we've all seen push notifications on our phone we get them all the time it's so easy to do in app my site i click on create new in this case i've created this draft so i'm going to go ahead and hit this modify button and you can see the sample of how the push notification will come up and guys when i say it i mean this is literally as simple as creating a push notification you can even schedule them you can even choose just android or just ios and then you just hit send and it will literally push out to your audience you've got a nice little demonstration of how it will look on each screen so you know how many characters are going to fit in your little notification and so forth but it's that easy to go ahead and send out push notifications to your entire audience with the app installed next up i mentioned monetization you can go ahead and use google ad mob and just simply toggle the on switch right so in this case we are using the ads inside the home screen now if you noticed we were using web views in my app but if you were using a wordpress or woocommerce or something like that then you would be making better use of the home screen but it's very simple to do all you would do is enter the ad unit id from your ad mob account and then you can configure which ad is going to get shown and it'll give you a nice little preview of the ad so once we're done with all of these steps we've built out a beautiful looking app but i want to test it out i want to see how my app's looking so we're going to head over to the preview tab now if you don't have an ios device you don't have an android device do not worry they actually give you really awesome online emulators so in this case you can actually go ahead spin up different emulators over here by hitting the drop down but what i would highly recommend is that you actually download something called test flight for ios and for android they have an equivalent and what i want you to do is download that and scan in the qr code for your app that pops up and why this is really cool guys is because you can actually get a feel for how your app reacts responds if it's a good experience for the user you'll get to see how your app actually feels when you play with it on your phone now trust me designing it on a computer is one thing when you actually get to play with it on your phone a whole another experience the final step would be publishing now luckily enough the guys make it extremely easy to go ahead and publish what you want to do is firstly head over to the download section and what you can do here is build bundles for our ios app and our android app so firstly android fairly straightforward to do you want to click on build android app confirm and then you want to go ahead and enable any third-party services that you may need so notice how they do support google firebase if you want to have more complicated or complex push notifications add mob as i showed you earlier and app permissions if you are going to use some more complicated features inside of your app then you want to hit the build app option you can see it generates a bundle id for us and you do the same thing with ios however ios takes an additional step whereby we need certificates so what i would highly recommend here head over to ios build configuration and you're going to need your id settings and your distribution passwords you're also going to need certificates for your provisioning profile your distribution certificate all of this stuff you can get from the app store connect program so what you need to do is sign up as a developer there and then you'll get these credentials you simply upload them here you i would recommend enabling keychain it will make your user experience a lot easier you can support for ipad if you wish to do so and then the rest of it is very 
very similar. Once you've done that, you want to hit build app. Final step after you've done all of this is go ahead and head over to the publish. Now, once you've got your app store connect from the previous step, this will be a pretty easy breeze, right? You want to go ahead, hit connect, and this will take you to some credentials. You want to upload these and guys, just like that, you can deploy your iOS and Android apps to their appropriate stores. Blazing fast record timing. This is going to be an awesome way to go ahead and take an existing website, whether it's built with WordPress, WooCommerce, with React, Next.js, any website that you currently have, you can do so using App My Site, hence the name App My Site. Just like that, guys, you built your first iOS and Android app without writing a single line of code. Now, guys, for the first time ever, we're doing our first ever Papa Fam surprise giveaway. So we're going to be giving away a free 12 month subscription to a Microsoft personal Office 365 plan. To be in for a chance of winning, all you need to do is simply like the video, make sure you're subscribed and drop a comment of your next app idea with the hashtag Papa Fam. We're going to select the random winner from the comments and reply to your comment with the next steps of claiming your Microsoft 365 one year plan. With that said, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. This does not mean in any way or shape or form that we're not going to be coming hot with the React Native content. So make sure you subscribe, hit the bell notification icon for more awesome videos and content. We're also going to be dropping a hell of a lot more content on the channel, including vlogs. So I hope you guys enjoy the content to come. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next video. Peace.